John here guys and today we're talking about the Racer X FPV Twig Mutant 4. Dad? I think we can all agree that shit just went sideways in the most colossal way. That's right, the 4 inch here is the retail packaging and it comes including all of the usual twig fanfare, including um, some of those excellent 3D printed arm guards and a set of these very much slaughtered and highly anticipated four inch HQT mount props. Looking very much forward to trying those out. Of course, it also comes with the little sticky pad, uh, the strap, but what I am mostly interested in is this four inch frame. Uh, look at how it absolutely dwarfs the original twig and even makes the twig XL look <laughs> a little bit smaller than you might think. Um, and if you put them right on top of each other, you can see that it is a good half inch further to each arm tip in every direction accounting for that extra inch of prop size that you can accommodate on here. It also appears that it is a little bit thicker. I'll put the thickness of both of these on the screen. Uh, and it has, of course, the usual beautiful chamfer cuts that you um, have grown accustomed to on all of these twigs. Look at how beautiful this very slight uh, chamfer is around the entire frame. It is simply beautiful. Uh, some of the best cut frames in the business. Now, what's notable about the four inch, and here is the Twig Mutant um, pod, which is essentially the same that comes on the XL. And this is a different color way option that you have if you would like to purchase a custom one or customize your own. And, uh, You'll kind of mount this up here on some standoffs. I'll put some close-ups for you to take a look at. So kind of a similar formula that you have seen before has the little mounting in the center for you to run the 3D printed battery holder or some slots for be able, you to be able to feed a uh, strap in there. Uh, again, just like the Twig XL, this moves the holder for the pod outside of your stack. And this has the ability to run um, one of those whoop size boards like the 20 amp beta FPV that I have seen. But this one also allows you to have 20 by 20. So for those individuals who like to have a little bit of extra protection and um, some extra power split the risk of your flight controller and e electronic speed controller into two different separate boards. Um, so I think I'm going to build that up in this fashion to demonstrate that um, because I've already demonstrated the single layer uh, whoop board like this. This thing has been holding up quite well. It is extremely fun, but how much more fun is four inch going to be? Um, so are you guys building up one of these? Uh, are you going to to stick with the three inch, uh, what components are you gonna be throwing on your build? How fast do you think it's gonna go? How fast do you think it is going to be? Um, again, we all love this sort of curved built-in brace that is in the twig uh, frame design. It has so far for me yielded um, some very robust uh, frames, even though a single piece and very light. It's, it's uh, not a ton of material here, but it's been holding up. So. Uh, as we go up in weight, the, the XL was 110 grams with 1306 motors. I'm going to be going with a little bit larger motors and 20 by 20 size stacks. So I'm expecting the weight to get uh, a little bit higher. If I had to guess, maybe 130 grams-ish is kind of my target, maybe 140. So let's see how light I can get this thing. Uh, I'll do some comparisons to the Emacs uh, BB Hawk R4 inch and note how much better um, we can get the performance on something that weighs a little bit less. So very impressive. Um, God, it's going to look so aggressive in me. Can't wait to get this thing built up. Uh, thanks guys.